Hey friends, this is Marilyn from tarotclarity.com and I just want to put this out there. If ever you see me um, and I'm wearing the same outfit between two videos, don't think it's like I wear the same clothes every day, but what usually happens is that I um, will create a few videos in succession and I'll hold on to them, you know, for the rainy day. <laughs> or I just will release them on another day because being grandparents, you know, if there's all kinds of times when we get a phone call, could you watch one of the kids? And if I had planned to do a video that day, I would be out of luck. And so I figured out that if I make a few videos and kind of put them in my library for storage, when I have a day where I'm unable to do a video, I could just create the video. So I'm not going to do any more clothing explanations <laughs> moving forward, but that's the reason why. <clears throat> now to today's video, I thought I would do a comparison between two decks. Uh, the Ancient Italian Tarot, which I've f f featured many, many, many times. It's my favorite um, mass-produced deck. So, you know, for example, if somebody is a friend of mine and they want to get into tarot and, you know, they want to know what deck to buy or whatever, or if I'm buying somebody a gift, you know, for a holiday or their birthday, who I know has an interest, I'll buy them this deck, you know, because it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful deck. This one's put, it was put out by Los Carabeo and it doesn't have five languages on it or anything like that. And many of you already know what this deck is. And uh, I've done videos and so have many other people. So this is a favorite deck of mine. You know, it's definitely, um, it's definitely a favorite mass produced deck. Now, I've bought it for anybody I've ever bought a tarot deck for and each of my grandbabies has one of them too. Now, I'm not traveling as much anymore because this house kind of became our vacation home. <laughs> so we're not, you know, that was the um, justification for buying this home. So we're not traveling as much and traveling is hard on me. However, there are times when I really want to throw a, 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 a you know, a, a deck in my purse without too much worry that it's going to get scuffed up. And usually the tin decks are nice for that, except there's hardly any that are TDM. They're all usually right away Smith. So what I have to find are um, mini decks that have nice, hard, you know, boxes, and not just, um, uh, you know, tuck box. And I found this one, which is very, very, very similar to the ancient Italian, but it is a little different. And I've never had this deck in a full size or mini size before. I've only ever bought this deck. And I've always avoided this one because in the full size deck, I think it always has the different languages on it. So I'm hoping the languages are not present on this deck since it's already kind of a small size. But I thought today we would do a side-by-side -side comparison between the classic tarot by Los Carabello and the ancient Italian tarot. Um, by Slow Scarabeo because they're very similar and um, I've never seen them side by side before so I figured I would do that. So let me flip the camera and we'll get started. I should have done this <clears throat> off camera. I apologize. Okay, so we have a nice sturdy box, telescopic, not a tuck box. But definitely a, ba a box that I could put in my handbag. And not worry that it's gonna open too easily. Okay, we have a little white book. Now this, of course, is a mini size, so it's not um, <clears throat> a full tarot size. Engravings of Carlo Della Roca. Now, I don't know that he is the same artist here. This one may be um, based on this deck. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it, it doesn't, this little white book doesn't give credit to who the artist is, um, unless I'm supposed to know that um, this is his work. I don't know. But the Cartiera Italiana Serraville, Serravalle Cecia. And this one clearly says it's by Del, Carlo Della Roca. So I haven't obviously gone through the little white book, but. Ah, 
Ah, let me pause. So that's nice. We have a little scarab inside. That's a nice box. Okay, we have the little white book. For each, we have a card. Here's the backs of the ancient Italian and the classic has temperance on the back. Wow, okay. So an image of temperance is the back of this card. Oh, that's the star. Okay, my bad. I apologize. I'm, I'm getting like temperance in the star confused today. So that must be the star. Wow, isn't that wild? And look how she, look at how it's working. Like, oh, that's so cool. That's very cool. Okay. Well, they're very similar. Their faces are a little different. But very, very similar. Hmm. So maybe there is no difference between them. I mean, there seems to be slight differences in detail, unless one is a very good copy of the other. So there's a difference in the emperor, a bearded man versus a non-bearded man. And also, you know, like a suggestion of, of where in the world the individual may be. I mean, here we have a, a man who appears maybe to be of the Nordic world or a northern area. And this gentleman looks to, you know, be from a different location. Both have the eagle as part of the armchair, and they both have their um, similar staff. A slight difference in the facial expressions and the crown, uh, excuse me, the three tiered papal crown. So there are differences. Very subtle. Ah, and there aren't languages on this mini, which is very nice. Because the, one of the reasons I didn't want to buy the other deck was because I was afraid I'd have languages. So I didn't want to have to do <laughs> any tarot borderectomies. <laughs> But I also bought this because it's smaller and it's convenient and I could throw it in my handbag because wherever I go, I never know if someone's going to get into a conversation about tarot because, I, you know, it's, people are interested with me. Um, they know I do it and maybe they've seen some of my videos, but they don't tell me they do. So there's a familiarity with me, but they're shy about asking me to do video, uh, to do, um, readings, you know, um, which I think is very respectful because if we're meeting in a social place, uh, we have a different name, very similar, but Rua de la Four, and this is just La Rota. I mean, you wouldn't like, you, you know, talk business with somebody just because you found out they work in an office or you know, that kind of thing. So I think people are respectful and they are sometimes reluctant or hesitant to ask me about doing a tarot reading for them. Um, and my answer usually is, well, maybe right, not right now because if I'm at a party, I don't really want to, <laughs> I don't really want to do that. But, you know, um, I'd be happy to 
do a reading for you and send you the, the link, you know, because that's how I do it for my clients. I, um, you send me the question. We go back and forth in dialogue if, if it's necessary, you know. And then I do a video and I send it to you. But at any rate, sometimes they have sometimes they just want to have a conversation about tarot, and um, I, I always like to have a deck that I can show them. Look at his nose. Look at that. That's interesting. His nose is so red. So aside from the size difference, of course, <clears throat> there are very subtle differences between them. I mean, certainly there's differences in color, but there's also differences in the way they're rendered, which leads me to believe that one is a copy of another. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. Ever since having COVID, I cough. A beautiful moon. Oh, let's, how do you not love this deck? I love this deck. <laughs> and I love this deck now, too. Boy, that ball of fire of the sun is depicted differently. I mean, this one looks so hot, but it's so hot, it's white. It's so hot, it's just burning your eyes out. And yeah, we kind of have a typical female in the mandala with the four evangelists in the corners kind of card. But if you're going to have to do that, if you're going to have to present it in that way, <clears throat> it might as well look, look like that. Okay, my cards are not in the same order, so let me get them in the same order. All right. Now we have quite a different feel in the chalices now, don't we? quite different, but still both of them seem sacramental, you know, the kind of thing that you'd see in church. This one may be more so. And here we see the dragon motif climbing up the, or in a vase or whatever, that I met, made reference to I think yesterday in one of my videos. Okay, the cups are rendered differently. So yes, we have a different, we definitely have different artwork. Um, the, the ancient Italian tarot has like jeweled embellishments in their cups. And this, the other has more of an enameled look. Both are very decorative motifs. So for anyone who has the classic tarot in a full tarot size, do they have the same backs? They have the, the star card as the back? So they're different, and particularly noticeable in the pips, but it's not, um, they're, they're still so similar, you know, that if, say for example, in 400 years, a card from this deck went missing, and a, but that surviving card, that surviving card of this deck was available, you could easily use, you know, one or the other to replace the missing card of that deck and have it fit. which is how we have pieced together some decks today that are missing pieces, right? We, I talked about that with Marco Benedetti's decks, the Charles VI deck. There were only 17 original cards to that deck, but he pieced together the missing cards, the many missing cards, by 
sourcing um, decks of that period of time in that location that had those cards that were missing in the Charles VI. So you can get a sense of it would be very similar. You know, it's not perfectly exactly the, right, the way it would look, but you see how similar these are. Now these are a really close match though. These are particularly close because I, I'm sure that one is based on the other. Now this guy doesn't have stockings on. He's bare legged. This guy has some kind of leggings on. And the chalices are different. And the details in their faces are different. Oh, let me see. My boyfriend. I didn't comment on my boyfriend. Yeah, no cloth over the, the chalice on that. So if I could get this in a larger size without the languages on it, I'd probably buy it. I've just been reluctant to buy it all these years because I didn't want the languages on it. But if the mini is similar to how it looks with the um, <coughs> fuller size, I'd be happy to have a copy of it. So I should look into that. If any of you have the full size of the, of the classic tarot, let me know if there's languages on it. So the coins for the De La Roca have faces, at least on the two, but these are more similar. And we have a difference. And we have Roman numerals rather than Arabic numbers, too. That's another thing I failed to mention. I think I failed to mention many things. After I finish a video and I look at it and I realize, ah, oh, I said that wrong. Or I, I said the wrong word. I said deck when I should have said card or, you know, something like that. I don't typically do my videos over for little things because I prefer to think that you give me the benefit of the doubt and know the, what I'm talking about, <laughs> you know, and, you know, maybe you could identify and recognize a slip of the tongue. Sometimes people are kind of harsh. Um, but most of the time, the folks that comment um, are, to my um, videos are very lovely. I get so many lovely remarks. I, I really appreciate it very much. And, um, you know, because uh, I, I do make mistakes. Sometimes I misspeak. Sometimes I just say the wrong word. You know, I'm old. <laughs> Sometimes I mess up, you know. And I don't feel like I should do, you know, a half hour video all over again because I said the wrong word. And most of the time, if you see that I make a glaring mistake, look in my um, written description area because I'll always correct or um, identify something that I notice. Because before I make it go live, I, I view it first. I watch it before I put it live. So I catch mistakes, you know. And um, if I catch a mistake, I'll put it right in the description so when it goes live, it's in there. Sometimes I just misspeak and I say the wrong thing. And, um, and you correct me, and that's fine. I don't, I don't, I'm happy to, to like, learn something. And that's what these videos are. They're educational, right? Um, they're for educational purposes and fun. I bet you a few of you have learned how to read tarot cards, especially TDM, through benefit of my videos. And I'm not shy or modest. I know it's probably true. I put a lot out there for free um, that other people make, would make money on. You know, and do a better job of making money. 
not very good at making money. Although I always seem to have what I need. And I never feel like I don't have what I want. So miraculously, it works for me. But um, I'm not like a very shrewd business person. <laughs> if I was shrewd, I'd have had a Patreon account years ago, which I started, but I just don't know what to do with Patreon, you know? I mean, um, I already give my all, and I don't know how much more of my all to give for people who are patrons, right? What more would I give besides what I give? You know, what I what I do more videos like for them. I, I don't know how that tell me you know what you know if you would if you've been in here for twenty minutes and you've been supporting me, I'll be so appreciative <laughs> to know that first of all that you've been here for twenty minutes. But tell me what you know it, would you be willing to uh, be you know have this account go um, into a patreon account? Would you be a patron? I mean, you know, would you support it? And, and if so, what would you want your, your, the, as a patron? What would you want as a member? What kind of um, perk, you know, would you want? I'd only have one tier. I wouldn't get involved with multiple tiers, you know. I'm a simple person. I, I you know, I want to be fair. So this, this has a coin. Or no, it, yeah, some kind of coin. But I do, you know, this is a, I put out a lot of information that I could make money on. Um, I, of, yes, of course, I teach. I have tarot lessons. I think the link in my YouTube page is not good. But if you go to tarotclarity.com and you look for tarot lessons, you'll find them on my website. So I, I you know, I, I teach. Um, I have, uh, I certainly interpret the cards. So I have a business, you know, I'm running a business, <laughs> what I mean um, but I put these out as a courtesy um, and also as I said many times it's for my descendants primarily and I wouldn't charge them to teach them tarot so it's it's getting put out there and other people such as yourselves are benefiting greatly I'm sure I feel that way I, I feel good about myself and what I put out there and I, I recognize that I'm doing a nice thing but I would like to make, I would like my life to be a little bit easier. And it would be really nice if I could make part of my living through YouTube. I've been at this since 2016, and my niche is so small and so specialized that I barely have 2,000 you know, subscribers. And this is after 20, since 2016, you know. So I've been at it a long time. I have over 300 videos. I know there's some tarot channels that have 20 and 30,000 subscribers, which is amazing. I don't know how they do it, but you know, and I scratch my head and I say, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> but, um, I think probably I wouldn't mind doing a membership thing, but I, I just have to understand what you want, what you'd like, how that would look, you know, and if it's something that I could actually follow through with if it's something I could actually do. So there, I'm asking you to give me something in exchange for my video, some information. At any rate, we're almost done. And I really like this little deck. And I'll probably buy another one. And for those of you who have it in a full size, Please verify whether or not it's got the multiple languages on the side, because if it doesn't, I'll buy it. I'll buy, I'll start buying that one. I hope you enjoyed my video, friends. Until next time, peace and stay well.